Well, hello everybody. I hope you are having a really wonderful day. I've got a, just a really quick video, really quick idea that if I'm honest, it's not for everybody. I know some people who absolutely love the silence. <clears throat> they love times where they can get away and not hear anything, just, just enjoy the silence. But I also know a lot of people who say they love the silence, but they don't like a lot of it. They don't like the rush and the, the hustle and the, the constant movement of life. But these are the same people that as soon as it gets quiet, they start talking. As soon as it gets quiet, they turn on the radio, they turn on a podcast, they turn on a movie, Netflix, they, they, they go somewhere, do something. They're, these are the same people who, if they need to study, they'll go to Starbucks or some other place so they can hear noise and all this kind of stuff. And if you and I are honest, if you really think about it, me and you both know why you don't like the silence. And can I tell you, I'm the same way. And once again, if this is not you, then don't worry, turn it off. But if it is, the reason why is because it's in the silence that all those voices start to get loud. And we both know the voices I'm talking about, don't we? It's, it's the voices of worry. It's the fear of tomorrow, the worry of today or the regrets of the past. It's in the silence you start to remember the absence of friends. It's in the silence that you start to, to notice how very alone you always know that you are, but you can hide it by the distraction. And those voices get so very loud when it's silent. The voice that says you're always gonna be alone. The voice that says you're alone because you've hurt too many people. The voice that says maybe tomorrow's not gonna be okay. I don't, I don't know what the voices may be saying to you, but that's why we keep the noise up, don't we? Is so we never have to sit with those voices. But can I tell you that there's another voice that wants to speak to you? And it is the voice of the Lord. And what he may want to say to you is something beautiful, something wonderful. Now, does that mean you're going to hear this audible voice in your head? No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, is what you're going to do what you're gonna hear is maybe him turn those thoughts. Maybe you're gonna hear something you read in God's word. You're gonna remember a conversation that brings peace and hope. But the problem is, is the very thing you're doing to drown out those bad voices, unfortunately can also be the very thing that drowns out the voice of God as well. And I get it, I understand. You know, feeling like there's constantly a pack of wolves behind you and you're always having to run a little bit faster to keep those wolves off of you. That's the, that's the anxious thoughts, the anxious feelings, those, those wolves that are constantly there, constantly aware. And you're afraid that if you get in the silence, you can't keep them at bay and they're going to catch up with you. But can I tell you at the same time, maybe it's time to let them catch you. Maybe it's time to realize that all they are is voices. All they are is noise. They really have no power in your life. So I want, I want you to try something today. I want you to find a place and I want you to, to be quiet. And maybe you can only do it for 60 seconds, right? But set a timer on your phone or whatever. And for 60 seconds, don't have any other distracting noise. Now, for some of you, it's going to take longer than 60 seconds because then all of a sudden those voices are going to get super loud. And my goal for you is this, is let those voices get really, really loud and sit with it until they start to quieten down again. And the way you do this is, is you don't focus on any one of those, those thoughts. You know, all of a sudden, you know, everything gets quiet and it's, oh no, I should do something. Let it go. Oh, you'll get whatever. I'm gonna be running late for something. Not really. Let it go. Oh no. Let it go. Let it go. And every time, every time, uh, 1 Peter 5, 7 says, cast all your anxieties on God because he cares for you. So every time that anxiety comes up, God, will you carry that for me? God, will you hold that for me? You're not saying you're not going to do something with it. You're saying right now, I'm not going to do something with it. Right now, I'm going to give it to the Lord. And, and maybe you can only do that for 60 seconds. Now, the real power of it is when you can do it long enough for it to start to quiet down, for it to start to quiet. You know, so for some of us, it may take longer than 60 seconds. I'll tell you, for me, it takes over five minutes. And that is the longest five minutes <laughs> ever to just sit and just focus on the goodness of God and to not let those voices take charge. And what I mean by the voices is all the cares, worries, concerns, okay? I'm not telling you that I'm hearing, I'm not schizophrenic, okay? I'm not hearing all this, but it's just the voices, concerns. And I let them get loud, 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 loud. And then 
after they've gotten loud and I never focus on them, I just go, God, will you carry that for a moment? Will you carry that for a moment? Will you carry that for a moment? I'm so thankful that you are willing to carry that. Just let him, let him carry it. Let him carry it. Focus on the goodness of God. And what will happen, what will happen at some point is those voices will wash over you like a wave and then they will go. And what you're left with is the peace of God in your heart. And I, Dallas Willard said that it is in silence that we can feel the wind of eternity blow over our soul. The fresh wind of eternity blow over our soul. And many of us, it's been so long since we have felt the goodness of God. And one of the reasons is because we're always in motion. And we say it's because we're busy, but really what it is, is we're trying to stay one step ahead of the wolves or the anxiety. And instead, just to give it a shot, what if you stopped? Let the wolves catch up. <laughs> let them blow over you like a wave. And then once they're gone, let the peace of God start to settle over you. And then many times what will happen is once then you have the peace of God, then you can go back to those concerns and you can see them through the eyes of God. And for some of those, you're going to look and you're going to go, you know what, there's nothing I can do about that. So Lord, I'm just going to let you, I'm going to let you hold that one. Some of them you're going to say, there is something I can do about that. So I'm going to make a plan. And then you just come back to that piece and just see what it will do. Now, I'm not saying this to you because I have arrived. It's something I have to practice every single day. But every single day, especially when I start to feel the voices get loud, I find a place in my day where I can get away. I turn off the music. I turn off the things. I turn off the text messaging. And I take three to five minutes and just sit with the Lord. Try it. Let me know how it goes.